everyone. Welcome to our first ever Indie Publishing Awards. Thank you for tuning in and thank you to our sponsors, Renaissance PR and Curve. The idea behind these awards is to celebrate the business side of releasing indie games. Launching independently made titles is a hugely difficult task. You don't have much budget. You're competing with thousands of new games being released all the time. You don't have much investment. Your teams are small and it can be a thankless task dealing with communities. And yet we continue to see indie games come out and attract more attention and deliver more sales than even the big AAA games. Over the last year alone, titles like Hades, Valheim, Among Us and Fall Guys have grabbed headlines and become smash hits without the financial backing and support of the big AAA games. These awards will celebrate excellent publishers, marketers, PRs and community managers. It will highlight investors who are doing all they can to support indie studios. We'll look at storefronts who are doing their bit to put indie games in front of more consumers. We'll also look at those who managed to succeed in the ever tricky crowdfunding space. But these are our first awards. We've not done them before. And already during the process, we've identified a few things we'd like to do differently, perhaps some new categories to introduce, perhaps some tweaks to the judging. If you've got feedback or ideas about what you would like to see, we do want to hear from you. So let us know. Speaking of judging, the finalists for these awards were put forward during a nominations process that ran on gamesindustry.bits. We then narrowed down each category to six or seven when we couldn't decide with the help of the Games Industry.biz editorial team. We then had a panel of judges decide on the eventual winner and those judges were revealed after the show. What this means is that the nominations went through several experts before we landed on the winners. These are really, truly deserving winners. But these awards, like with all panel awards, are subjective. Perhaps if we had a different panel, perhaps the winners wouldn't be the same. And I want all the finalists to remember that because simply being a finalist in these awards, simply getting this far really highlights how excellent you are. Now, if you've been watching GI Live over the last few days, you're probably sick and tired of seeing this face. So for these awards, we've reached out to a few of our industry friends to help us reveal the winners. And for our first award, Community Management, I'll pass you over to Helen Chang, the head of the indie game that started it all. Minecraft. Thanks, Chris. Hi, I'm Helen Chang, head of Mojang Studios, the creators of Minecraft. We know just how important a vibrant, positive community can be to the success of a game, and just how proactive you need to be to keep an audience engaged. So we're excited to reveal the winner for the Indie Community Management Award. It was a competitive category, and the finalists are... The Ghost Ship Games Team. Harris Foster from Finji. The No More Robots Team. Poppy Ingham from Bossa Studios. The No Straight Roads Team. And finally, Victoria Tran from Inner Sloth. And the winner is... Victoria Tran of Inner Sloth. Congratulations, Victoria. Hi. <laughs> Um, I'm super honored to be the winner of the Community Management Award. Thank you so much for that. That really means a lot and a lot of love to the other nominees. Uh, the amazing thing about community management is everything is a group effort. So, so much love and thank you to the Inner Sloth team for all of their support and our partners like Robot Teddy and Dual Wield Studio who are integral parts of the community and help keep it running. Uh, and the most, the most aggressive and extreme thank you to our Discord moderator who are literally everything and I wouldn't be here without them. In fact, I would just, I would perish without them. So all the thanks there. And of course, the biggest love to the community. Uh, whether it's been the Among Us community or other game communities I've been blessed to interact with, thank you for showing me and all of us that creating caring, compassionate, and meaningful connections is possible and always worth it. Even in a game about murder and deception and lying. <laughs> All right, thank you so much.
Hi there, my name is Peter Moore. Yeah, you may know me from Sega, Xbox, EA, and more recently, Liverpool Football Club. And now I'm back in games in the industry and delighted to be so as a board member at Nifty and also working here full-time at Unity Technologies. And I'm here to reveal the winner of the Indie PR and Marketing Award. Um, the marketing resources available to indie developers tend to be not much more than a Discord and Twitter account. And to get attention in this area require almost as much creativity as making the game in the first place. The finalists in this award all show plenty of drive and imagination, and they are. The Beyond Blue campaign. The Bug Snacks campaign. The Everspace 2 campaign. The Fall Guys campaign. The Spirit Spiritfarer campaign. And the Falconeer campaign. And the winner is... Goes to the envelope. Exciting moment. Drum roll. The Fall Guys campaign. Well done. Thank you so much. We're so honored to win this award, especially seeing all the other great campaigns that came out over the past year. Ever since Fall Guys was pitched, we knew there was something special there, and it's been amazing to see that players feel the same way as we do. We put a lot of care behind the comms that go out around Fall Guys and their goofy competition. Um, so it's really great to see that people have been able to see the design behind our simplicity. A huge thank you to our team and to everybody at Mediatonic and of course the folks at Devolver. Thank you so much for the support in bringing our silly rainbow beans and their great game show to life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks everyone. Investment in video games has increased dramatically over recent years, and none more so than in 2020. But the finalists haven't been selected because of their ability to spend money, but to give support to enable their partners to be creative and to build the games they really want to make. And this year's finalists are... Galaxy Interactive Ian Livingston CBE Kowloon Knights London Venture Partners Transend Fund and Wings I'd like to congratulate all of the finalists this year but the Investor of the Year award goes to Kowloon Knights Yay. Yay. <laughs> Hello, Games Industry. Thank you so, so much for this award. We feel uh, really, really special today. And, and thank you so much for the recognition. Um, but we really most importantly want to thank all the 40 plus developers who've trusted us. Um, Cal and Soul reason for existence is to support uh, incredible creators and developers all across the world. And we just feel so, so fortunate to be working with so many amazing people. Uh, we Cannot wait to show you uh, some of the new teams that we're supporting and we'll be announcing some more very, very soon. Um, thank you again so much and we really appreciate this. Thank you. Thank you all. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank, thank, thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Brenda Romero and I'm excited to be presenting the Crowdfunding Campaign Award. Running a crowdfunding campaign, as anyone knows, can be a daunting, overwhelming, and relentless experience. It requires expertise in PR, in marketing, and in managing communities, and setting expectations, setting stretch goals, establishing your game's audience and potential, and so much more. Running a successful crowdfunding campaign is no small feat. And there were a large number of excellent crowdfunding campaigns that ran last year, and we had an incredibly long list, so much so that Game Industry Biz found it difficult to pick just six finalists, but they managed it. 
and here they are. Call Me Under by Lunaris Games. Cyber Knight Flashpoint by Tracy Brothers Games. Sea of Stars by Sabotage Studio. Sword of the Necromancer by Jandusoft. The Wandering Village by Stray Fawn Studio. And Weaving Tides by Follow the Feathers. And the winner is... Sea of Stars by Sabotage Studios. Congratulations, what great news. Well, Phil, we won crowdfunding camping of the year. Yep. So we made the decision a couple of months ago to self-publish Sea of Stars, uh, which winning an indie publishing award like that is essentially the best validation we could ask for moving forward. So we do want to thank our backers uh, once again for that one. Right, Phil? Right. We also want to thank all the team members. Uh, as Adrian mentioned, of course, we want to thank the backers and uh, Game Industry Dotbiz for the amazing award. Uh, we promise you we're really hard at work on Sea of Stars and we'll be in touch. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, me again. We're already halfway through our awards, but before we carry on, I wanted to tell you about a very different awards event that we run. In the UK, we have a project called the Best Places to Work Awards. It's all about making the games industry a better place to work. It's free to take part. We only ever reveal the winners and everyone can receive feedback so they can identify areas where they might be able to improve. And now for the first time, we are taking this to the US. You can request information on taking part now by visiting bestplaces.gamesindustry.biz. And we've created a little video of our UK winners who will tell you why it's something worth taking part in. Check this out. We exist to make the best possible games. And ultimately, our people and our teams are our biggest assets. And it's just incredibly rewarding to have something that shines a light on that. It's a really good way of showcasing what you do as a studio. These awards give people looking to join our team confidence that they're joining one of the best places to work in video games. So it's quite common now for applicants to mention the Best Places to Work awards when they talk to us. Recognition like this helps us to see that we're headed in the right direction and that we're responding to feedback in the right way. It's also given us an insight into what the staff really feel about the things that we've done. It was extremely important to us that the award took into account anonymous responses from our own employees. It really means something knowing that the awards are voted on by our employees directly. But even if you don't get shortlisted, the the process of going through the application is a great forcing function because it requires you to really focus on the messages you want to deliver, what's important as a studio and what's important for new hires. It's a great way to get a new perspective on your workplace. And to benchmark ourselves against other studios in the UK. Winning the Best Places to Work Award creates such a positive feeling across all of our teams and just fills us with pride. We're proud to be one of the UK games industry's best places to work and we're looking forward to this year's awards. So as a company, if you're looking to take part, just do it. Yes, we would definitely recommend that people enter Best Places to Work awards. The Best Places to Work patches we've won over the past few years are as important to us as any of the awards we've won for our games. Now back to the awards. This award is a special one. It's for the unsigned game of the show. These are games that are being showcased this week at GI Live Online. A team of journalists from gamesindustry.biz, Video Games Chronicle and more looked at these games and were specifically talking about games that do not have a publisher and gave their verdict on what they thought was the game of the show. It was a really tough decision and we ended up with a top three. In third place, Thirsty Heroes from Bit by Bit Studios. In second place, we have Hell is Others by Strelka Games. And finally, the winner of Unsigned Game of the Show is 
Harmony's Odyssey by Mythic Owl. Congratulations to all three of our winners and particularly to Mythic Owl. Now on to our next award. Hey, I'm Guha Bala, president of Valen Studios, the independent studio behind Mario Kart Live, Home Circuit, and the upcoming Knockout City. And I have the privilege of revealing the winner of the Indie Publisher of the Year Award. Indie publishing has never been more competitive, with thousands of games launching on digital platforms every month. Almost 50 publishers of indie games were on the long list for this award, and, get, and the game industry biz team have narrowed that down to just seven. And they are... Coffee Stain Publishing, Curb Digital, Devolver Digital, Humble Games, No More Robots, Raw Fury, and Team 17. And the winner is Devolver Digital. Congratulations. your old pal Mr. Meatless here on behalf of Devolver Digital Entertainment to accept your award for best damn publisher of the year. Wow, that feels great. Thank you very much. Thank you for, for recognizing our greatness and then making an award just so that you could tell everyone else how great we are. We appreciate it. And we look forward to giving you some kind of award in the future as well. Perhaps some type of award show award for best award given to Devolver Digital during award season. We're still working out the name, but anyway, we'll keep you in our thoughts. Thanks again, everyone. You're great. Hi. I'm Warren Spector from Other Side Entertainment. Currently, I'm working on projects I'd love to talk about, but can't just yet. I wish I could be there in person, but that just isn't possible for obvious reasons. So I'm here virtually to reveal the winner of the Indie Storefront of the Year. The role stores play in helping indie games find fans is hugely important, but not just to indies, to the entire games business. And it's never been more competitive with digital and even physical retailers offering advanced community features, working on improving discoverability, and even hosting events. With that said, the finalists for the Storefront of the Year category are Epic Games Store, GOG.com, itch.io, Limited Run Games, Super Rare Games, Steam, and Xbox Game Store. And the winner is, I will now pretend to open an envelope, Steam. Congratulations. Independent game developers are the bedrock of our industry. From their willingness to take risks, from their innovation, and for their willingness to go places that the rest of us just aren't ready to go yet, we would not be where we are as an industry without them. So on behalf of the independent game developers we partner with, and on behalf of everyone here at Valve, thank you. I am Shuhei Yoshida from Sony Interactive Entertainment. We have been huge supporters of the indie games community. 
from no man's sky to bag snacks, we've championed the work of smaller independent creators the world over. We also know that the indie space is where creative leaps are being taken and where the game development leaders of tomorrow can be found. Therefore, I'm excited to reveal today the recipient of the Special Recognition Award. This award is for an individual, company or institution that has gone beyond the call of duty to support indie games and those who make them. A person or group who has made a positive impact on indie games over the last 12 months. Please watch this special video. Hi, I'm Esther and I'm the founder of Resistance Studio. Hello, I'm Alvi from Selva Interactive. I'm Charlotte Sutherland of Cave Monsters. Hey, I'm Jörg from Anomaly Games. Hi, I'm Miriam from Bloom Digital Media. Hi, my name is Akina and I'm from Persona 3 Games in Malaysia. Wings is giving us the required funding to develop our new game, Illuminaria. We produced the game Later Daters, which Wings funded. The funding has really helped sort of develop the game to make it much bigger and better than it would have been without their help. They believed in us, and they funded us, and they got us to the finish line. What makes Wings different to other funds is that they offer you advice, how to do PR, what events to participate, how to price my game. They're helping us with contacts and advice that make a huge difference to small studio in Latin America. And to have that kind of support from people as experienced as the team in Wings, especially for us who are so small in Southeast Asia, I think that is what is the most important to us. As a small company, for me, that is really, really, really more valuable than, than just the money. They've also created a great community sort of for uh, diverse teams. In which we can learn, share and grow. They are connecting us with uh, many developers uh, all over the world. So they're really helping sort of diverse teams with their game development. What they're doing is important because investing in diverse teams translates into innovative games and ideas. Supporting women-led and gender-diverse teams today will have a positive impact in the future of our industry. What I've always liked about Wings is that they do things. Whether that is creating opportunity or investment for women or people of marginalized genders, or helping developers that were harmed by the cancellation of GDC. Wings has always been there, not just to uh, make things happen, but also to work with other initiative takers in the diversity space to make sure that as many things can happen and as many people get helped. You can get money anywhere, but Wings is offering a lot more than that. And I think that's why Wings is so special and that's why they deserve this award. It's great to see them getting recognition that they deserve. They deserve this award because this sets an example for other companies, publishers and investors. As many talented teams around the world usually do not have the opportunities to get their projects funded and supported. They give people like us the voices and the platform to actually Tell our stories. Wings is finding these teams, helping them, and while doing so, making the gaming industry a better place. So congratulations on this award, Wings, and thank you for your help. Thank you to the Wings team for supporting developers like us and giving us the opportunity to put our project in the spotlight. We are very grateful for all the help and support. So thanks for everything you do, Wings. So, yeah, thank you for that. It is well deserved and congratulations. I am pleased to announce the winner of the Indie Publishing Awards Special Recognition Award is Winx. Congratulations. Thank you from all of us at Wings Interactive for this special recognition at the inaugural Indie Publishing Awards. At Wings, we invest in games created by teams in which female and gender diverse developers hold key positions. We believe in diversity and inclusion, and we're very excited to make real change in the industry. Beginning with the GDC Relief Fund and continuing with the Elevate Global Online Incubator, we've been able to help hundreds of game development teams who were affected by COVID-19 cancellations. This year, we continue by bringing Elevate back for 2021 and investing in a whole array of amazing game development projects, many of which you can check out on our website right now. 
Thank you so much again for this recognition, for your support of diversity and inclusion in the industry, and for helping us to invest in even more female and gender diverse led teams. Congratulations to Wings, and indeed, well done to all of our winners and finalists. That concludes the Indie Publishing Awards for 2021. There were so many incredible businesses and individuals in there. So many wonderful people put themselves forward. So thank you for taking part. Thanks again to our sponsors, Renaissance PR and Curve, and thank you to our brilliant judges and all of our fantastic presenters today. But most of all, I wanna thank you. If you've got any feedback, got any ideas, please do let us know. I hope you enjoyed the awards today and we will see you next time.